Man, I was just thinking, isn't it crazy that anytime one of these artists is truly on a different route and on some, I'm not going to go with the wave of the industry. I'm going to do my own thing because I ain't going to pump out that negativity. I ain't going to keep on feeding the beast. I'm going to teach the youth that it is cool to be a leader. It is cool to not indulge in negativity. And the most high is real. There's a bigger and better path beyond the streets and gangbanging and being in the hood every day, like my boy Nip said. Isn't it crazy how they seem to just lose their lives? Ain't that crazy? Anytime they spread positivity, they lose their lives. But the ones that we see who have never put out anything positive always exploit the community always promote the wrong things and are always in some type of scandal seem to stay around forever it's just crazy it blows my mind man i don't know what else to say about it but y'all know man y'all see my boy nip across the screen y'all see my boy dmx rest in peace to both of these men man today we got to talk about tmc though man and most importantly we got to talk about my boy nip the real undisputed king of l.a and his big brother, Black Sam, came out with some news and let us all know that Puma is still looking out for his seeds, man. Y'all check this out. Um, Puma, you know, with with us, it's, it's, it's they really close to our heart because they gave Hustle a, um, they gave Hustle a deal, and actually our collab is because of Hustle. Like I say, Hustle, Hustle, Hustle went and, and, and figured it out for himself, and always, you know, within that deal, he told him, listen. I appreciate it, but within my deal, you need to write in once a year, you have to do a collab with my clothing brand, mm -hmm. with my team, Marathon Clothing. And so he got that inked into his first deal. After everything, um, they came back to the table and made sure the kids were set up straight. It had nothing to do with um, sales of clothes or, or the, 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 um, the success of the capsules. Just off the top, every year, they're hitting the kids in their trust fund. They, 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 they did it right for Hustle, and uh, they allowed us to also do the collabs and do it the way we want to do it. It's not about like selling a lot of units or printing up a lot of t-shirts and going wide and all that. Before I get into the fact that Puma is still taking care of the seeds, even though that's powerful, I want to point this out right here, man, because Nipsey Hustle was such an intelligent businessman that he understands the leverage game. He understood the amount of leverage that he had personally, man. He understands that he is a rap star. He has a name. He has songs on the radio. So he does have leverage. But he also knew I'm not a superstar globally, at least not yet. So I got to play my cards right. What do I do to get this company? Well, Puma's not just a company. They're a global corporation. What do I do to get this powerhouse to make my clothing? Because that's the goal, to be a part of this global powerhouse but also have them putting out my line all right i'll endorse your company i'll be a part of that as long as once a year y'all do something with my company that's the foot in the door and that's how he gets them started on making his clothing his own personal clothing y'all listen to this one more time man this is intelligent man i appreciate it but Within my deal, you need to write in once a year, you have to do a collab with my clothing brand, mm -hmm. with my team, Marathon Clothing. And so he got that inked into his first deal. Man, that man Nip had some high level chess moves, didn't he? That man was a high level thinker. Man, hey, look, Puma wasn't thinking about doing anything with TMC, the, the company, the brand as a whole. They weren't thinking about that, man. They was thinking about him using his stardom to promote their company and get them bigger but see he knew he had to bet on himself and make a play put his foot in the door and make a play off of that you feel me and that turned into a real relationship a relationship that went on to supersede his death and be passed down to his kids his soon to be white his family they are taking care of his family those kids don't want for nothing because of this conversation that black sam is talking about him telling them i'll do that but y'all gotta do something for my company once a year he built a relationship based off of that 
that once a year turned into a full on deal with Puma. A deal that we was just talking about last week that spread it over into Jay Stone because he has a deal with Puma now. All Money In and Puma have built a personal relationship with each other. So it's love there. It's no longer like a business thing. It's real love, man. And it's all off the back of that conversation. Those negotiations that they was having. That man Nip. Man, that man Nip is different, man. I don't think we'll ever see nothing like that again, bro. You got to appreciate that man's greatness. But Black Sam wasn't done there, man. This was a full interview. Y'all can go check this interview out. This next part of the interview is Black Sam explaining when Nip first told him about changing the name of the mixtape from Bullets Ain't Got No Name to Marathon. And if y'all remember, those Bullets Ain't Got No Name mixtapes, man, that Nip was young, aggressive, lyrical, and gave it to you raw. He came with bars like, don't speak about her man, keep his name out your mouth. See, that'd be the shit to get a and knocked off, not the pussy, but the principal, cause jealousy is feminine. When you grind it, dress bummy clothes, ask yourself, you in it for the money or the pussy? Or when he said, have you ever felt the feeling of paranoia from killing? Knowing your day's number, but your freedom ain't a given. When the bounties get dropped, cause the Johnnies is hot. It's when you sloppy make your first mistake and get caught. Yeah, that man, yeah, he was different on a cool. Nip was most definitely different. But y'all check out this interview, man. I could go all day long with that. When I heard it. Check it out. And, um, you know, I'm fresh out. Hustle was killing them in the streets. Bullets ain't got no names. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think volume one and two, I'm first hearing it. And I'm like, oh, we on everywhere we go. <laughs> you know, I'm, 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 I'm high energy. I'm like, bro, you, it's, it's a wrap. We got it. And, and, and we put out volume three. And as Nip is working on the next project, he's like, uh, this next one I'm gonna call the marathon. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, what? Nah, nah, nah. What are you, man? We gonna run bullets ain't got no names to volume 10. <laughs> like, don't, like, what you talking about? We on, right? He like, nah, nah, bro, trust me. And um, him and JP have been tapping in a lot and um, reading books on branding. And, you know, JP was taking photos, black and white photos. And he was really, you know, creating logos. And so he laid the vision out, you know, to us. And um, that created the Marathon brand. And I didn't fully understand it at that point, but when the project came out, I seen how wide it went. And I seen, like he said, he, he like, man, I don't like the energy at the shows. You know, we hopping off the of stages, getting into fights, shootouts and every, like, that ain't, that, that that's not the energy I wanna bring. I wanna bring like inspiration. And so I didn't fully understand it, but once the project came out and um, I start seeing the difference, I start seeing people coming with resumes, people coming in and telling bro like, man, I'm in college, I'm staying in college because of your message. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I said, that's that that's the point where I said, oh, this, you know, bro, this is genius. Man, that man, Nip, was truly one of the greatest. No, nah, scratch that. Not one of. He was the greatest mind we ever seen in hip hop history. And it ain't even close, man. I can't think of another mind that was as intelligent as his man the business sense the ability to really think outside the box the man was so tactical and strategic he used so many unorthodox tools to market itself the first ever hundred dollar mixtape the only artist that ever did that ten thousand copies sold the first week not to mention the fact that he was independent so all that money went straight to his pocket y'all do the math on it what a criminally underrated and underappreciated album that was. Then the next album, Mailbox Money, and I believe it was the Deluxe that sold a thousand dollars a copy. He sold a thousand of those independent. Money went straight to his pocket, changing the game and bringing back the control to the artist, letting the artist know that was a message to the industry, letting them know. The fans will be proud to pay if they truly love you. It's about creating a connection with your fans and supporters, man. That was a part of my teenage years I'll never forget, man. Rest in peace to my boy, Nip. Y'all let me know what y'all think about what Black Sam had to say. Now, this last topic I'm going to touch on just briefly. And uh, y'all can read the stuff as it goes across the screen. But I'm going to give y'all overall uh, rundown of what she said. Now, this is Nipsey's baby mama. And Nipsey's baby mama, China, pretty much uh, popped out on her Instagram 
and said a few things about how she missed Nipsey. How, you know, she pretty much been going through it and uh, all the fans keep dragging her every time she posts something about Nip. And that was almost four years ago. But that's her child's father and they are fans. They are angry at the fact that she was not with him when Nip passed away, which is crazy. That was a few days ago. And uh, today she popped out basically telling the fans that thank you. She appreciates them for gassing her and helping her to understand that she could do better in her life. She could pick herself up. She could move forward and she could do better. That's how she took it, man. She also let it be known that she wasn't going to allow them to truly get to her. She continued to post Nip. But I post that to say this, man, because I wanted to say this overall. Had to touch on this subject. You do not have to be in a relationship with someone to love them. They grew up together. They had a seed together. They was with each other for a while. How can you tell this woman how to feel about someone that she had a personal connection with that you know nothing about? Every time she looks at her daughter, she sees Nipsey. She sees those times that they spent together. She remembers the conversations that they had in private on the phone, like the one she had 30 minutes before he passed away. Listen, they have a bond that none of us will ever understand because we don't know what went on behind closed doors. We don't know their relationship. Nip didn't put that out there for the people to know. He didn't really even speak on it in his music. So obviously there wasn't much bad blood there. Laura London hasn't came out and felt no type of way about it, nor has anybody else. So who are you as a fan to tell this woman that she cannot speak on a man that she had a child with. Somebody that was obviously something to her. She had this man's baby. Y'all be delusional, bruh. How can y'all tell this woman about a man that she actually knows? That you don't know. You're a fan. She knew Aramis. Y'all knew Nipsey. Come on, man. Who do you think is actually closer? You think you're actually closer because you listen to the music and watch the man on your phone or your television? Come on, bro. That, that'd be crazy, bro. Y'all can't be that lost. And that's the reason why I say we don't have fans over here. Because fans are fanatics. They do delusional stuff like that. We got supporters. And we support Real Ones Movement, man. That's just what it is. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about all this. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Just wanted to talk to y'all about Nip. Y'all know what's up. I'm out.